morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of a vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy. I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're dealing with a health challenge, a loved one, friend, family member is dealing with a health challenge you need help with, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, a success story, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our phone number on the bright side. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour. Please try to call in early so we can squeeze in as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised, or recommended on the Bright Side, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. We've got news stories, blog posts, videos, as well as all the longevity products. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If nutritional supplementation has helped you in your life and you're an entrepreneur, you're entrepreneurially minded, if you like the entrepreneur lifestyle for a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business and we can help you build your business. That's one of the coolest things about network marketing, about direct sales marketing is your upline wants you to succeed as much as you want to succeed. And your upline needs you to succeed as much as you need to succeed. That is the coolest thing about network marketing. And I've been in network marketing now for going on 25, 30 years. And I've been involved with longevity for 20 years. And let me tell you something, you cannot find a more in integrity network marketing business than the longevity business. If you're interested, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Sign up right off the websites, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also order products uh, from the phone team at 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products. TruthTreatments.com is my website. TruthTreatments.com. You'll see all four Truth products. Our Truth Retinol 5% gel made with 5% retinol, vitamin C, and that's it. And our transdermal delivery matrix, and that's it. No preservatives, no fragrances, no fillers, no waxes, no thickeners, no nothing. Your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You shouldn't have to pay for ingredients that don't do anything for your skin. You shouldn't have to pay for ingredients that don't, not only don't do anything for your skin, but are bad for your skin. Preservatives, are you kidding me? They kill cells. That's how a preservative works. It kills cells. Why would we rub a preservative on our skin multiple times a day for months and years and decades? If you want preservative free, if you want fragrance free, if you have sensitive skin, if you're interested in only paying for what you're using, you want to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Transdermal C Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. Check them all out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We are talking heart disease, a leading killer in this country and around the world. Some 600,000 people a year die from heart disease every year, according to Center, Centers for Disease Control, the CDC. Heart disease is made up of various sub-diseases, I suppose you'd say. Arrhythmias, fibrillations, uh, cardiomyopathy, deteriorating heart muscles, heart valve problems, 
there's various ways that you can describe it, but basically it's just your heart not doing its business. And it's not cholesterol that causes the problem, as we've said at length. It's not cholesterol that causes the problem. I know I've said it every day now for a couple of weeks. It's so important to understand this because the meme, the idea, the belief that it's cholesterol and it's blockages and you can't eat your egg yolks and you got to take statin drugs is so pervasive. We're bombarded with it. We're beat over the head with this idea and it is flat out wrong. It is not cholesterol that causes heart disease. What causes heart disease is the same thing that causes any degenerative disease, whether we're talking about the bones, the brain, the lungs, the liver, or any other organ or structure of the body. Starvation, suffocation, toxification, and inflammation, period. See, there's no such thing as heart disease. There is no such thing as heart disease. What we call heart disease is really heart cell disease. There's no such thing as bone disease or liver disease or lung disease. There's lung cell disease. There's liver cell disease. There's lung, uh, uh, bone cell disease, intestinal cell disease, brain cell disease. It's cell disease. All disease is cell disease. All disease is cell disease. And we don't get told that because your doctor can't do anything at the level of the cell. The cell doesn't want the drugs. The only thing a doctor can do at the level of a cell is kill the cell, drug the cell, remove the cell, radiate the cell, burn the cell, electrocute the cell. This is medicine, destroying the cell in the name of health. It is the stupidest, most brain dead way to take care of the body, to poison the cell to make it better. Who thinks that's a good idea? If there's a doctor out there, call me on the air. Tell me why you think Poisoning the cell is a way to make the cell better, a way to make the body better. You cannot make the body better by poisoning, electrocuting, removing, extracting, radiating the cell. And this is why we are so darn sick in this country. There's no such thing as heart disease. There is heart cell disease. And what causes heart cell disease is the same thing that causes any other cell disease. Starvation, that is lack of nutrition, suffocation. That is a lack of oxygen and toxification. That is accumulation of poisons, including sugar and drugs, illegal and legal, and smoking, leading to inflammation, which is, uh, is in essence a beaver's dam that surrounds and protects that cell microscopically, microinflammation. When that cell is protected once, twice, a little bit, that's a good thing. That's an important thing. But when that cell is protected and protected and protected because it's starved and suffocated and toxi toxified for months and years and decades, eventually that inflammatory process becomes counterproductive because it leads to more starvation, suffocation, and toxification and more inflammation and on and on we go. In the case of the heart, we've got the added factor and not just in the case of the heart actually, in the case of all structures of the body, we have to factor in the mental and emotional aspects of our being. Disease is dis-ease. We're not in ease. Our cells are not in ease. They're out of ease. It's right there, hidden in plain sight. It's right in the word. Dis-ease is a body that is out of ease. A cell, a cellular system that is not in ease. We are from a physical, mental, emotional, and even spiritual perspective, not in ease. We're not safe. Our cells are not safe. This is what it means, by the way, to be saved. To be saved is to feel safe. It's not anything airy-fairy or religious. It's simply common sense and biochemistry. When we're not safe, we're out of ease. When we're not safe, we're in dis-ease. We're in survival mode. The inflammatory process is a defensive phenomena. And heart disease, or should I say heart cell disease, is the manifestation of this defensive posture. It's the end result of inflammation, which means it's the end result of a defensive posture, which means it's the end result of being out of safety not safe. Heart cell disease is a response to stress, physical stress, emotional stress, mental stress, and yes, spiritual stress. And actually it's not stress, it's strain, which is the response to stress. This distinction between stress and strain needs to be identified, needs to be recognized, which we will do, which we will talk about when we come back from our break. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll return right after this. Okay, we are back 
on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Benny. 442-3660-10 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you're on a statin drug, you want to get off of it, if you've got heart problems or you know somebody who has heart disease, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the Ingevi products, our Truth Skin Health products, formulations, ingredients, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. want to remind you to check out our Longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. You can also review programs at brightsideben.com. We've got a search engine and archives, six years of archives, archived radio programs at, uh, at uh, brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up and you can check out our truth skin health products our truth uh, truth treatments or at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com truth retinol 5% gel if you're dealing with aging skin hyperpigmentation dark spots melasma retinol is your go-to topical active ingredient for dealing with dark spots it's your go-to topical active ingredient for dealing with all kinds of skin health issues retinol is amazing stuff the problem with retinol is because it can be a little bit stimulating for the skin most companies don't want to give you the real good doses I'm a pharmacist we study doses pharmacy is about dosage and dose delivery that's my specialty you know there's nobody better to make a skincare product than a pharmacist because we study delivery of of medicine into the body and in terms of skin we study the delivery of topical ingredients usually medicinal ingredients to the skin, things like cortisol and hydroquin or uh, cortisone and hydroquinone and salicylic acid. But retinol is amazing stuff, not only because it's so effective, but because it's a vitamin. And it's stored in the skin. One of the neatest things about retinol is your skin develops a reservoir of retinol when you apply it topically. It actually stores the retinol for later use. Same with vitamin C. This is why True Skin Health products, all my True treatments, feature vitamin C and vitamin A. They are so well handled by the skin that they actually are stored in the skin when you apply them topically. So your skin will look better and better and better the more you use the product. The longer you use the product, the better your skin will look because your skin is actually using and storing the retinol and the vitamin C. This is what makes retinol and vitamin C the most important, the, capital T-A-G, the most important topical ingredients for the skin. And if you're not using fat-soluble vitamin C and you're not using retinol on a regular basis on your skin, you are completely missing the boat on topical healthy, on, on getting uh, skin healthy through topical, uh, topical means and topical strategies. You can find out all our Vitamin C rich, retinol loaded, Truth Treatments at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, 844 236 6010 is our number. On the bright side, if you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, we're talking about the heart. We'll, we will be talking about the heart for probably a, a few more days anyway, or maybe even a few more weeks. Heart disease is a leading killer in this country. And most people think it's about cholesterol. Most doctors think it's about cholesterol. It absolutely is not. It's the same thing. Heart disease is caused by the same thing that causes any disease. Dis-ease is out of ease. The body is under duress. Before we went to break, I was talking about the distinction between stress and strain. Stress is not the problem. It's the strain. Strain being the response to the stress. See, when we think about stress or we talk about stress, most of us think of distress. But there's also something called eustress, E-U. E-U is the uh, Greek prefix for good. There's actually good stress. The problem is in the response to the stress. If we don't handle the stress correctly, that's distress. If we handle the stress correctly, that is by building and growing, that's good stress, eustress. From a physical perspective, heart disease is caused by burden, uh, some kind of burden on the cells of the heart. Suffocation, starvation, and toxification. Suffocation meaning lack of oxygen, starvation, lack of nutrients, toxification meaning toxicity. So the causes of heart disease are malnourishment. The causes of heart disease are tox toxins like sugar and drugs and smoking. The causes of heart disease or heart cell disease is poor breathing, too much cortisol. It's the same thing, folks. This should come as no surprise to anyone. These are the conditions that underlie all disease. Why, would, why is the heart all of a sudden about cholesterol? Why should heart disease be different from diseases, any other disease? Why should dysfunction and disease of the heart be caused by anything different than dysfunction or disease of any other organ? All organs are made of cells, and all cells need the same thing. The only people who think that diseases of the heart have these special causes are the specialists who get paid for making up special things. 
And by the way, specialists, by their own admission, can do nothing to help the heart except take, take it out and bypass it and, and, and poison it and electrocute it. That's all they could do. And they'll tell you, there's nothing we could do. You just have to live with this, on this statin drug the rest of your life. You just have to live on this beta blocker the rest of your life. You just have to take this calcium channel blocker the rest of your life. There are no special diseases despite the specialists. All disease is cell disease, and all the cells of the body, there's 200 or so different types of cells in the body. All of them require the same thing. It's not like your heart cell needs anything different for its well-being than a skin cell or a bone cell. Now, disease, as we've said, is not just about the physical dimension. There's also the mental aspect and the emotional aspect and the spiritual aspect, and it's true about all organs of the body, and it's true about the heart. In fact, throughout history, the heart has been regarded as the seat of our emotional nature. The heart is affected by our emotions, and the heart, according to some researchers, actually generates our emotions. This is the position of heart math. And anybody dealing with heart disease, or has a, if you have a loved one or a family member who has heart disease, get the book, The Heart Math Solution. Google heart math. Get involved with heart math. You can donate every month, and you can get all kinds of interesting reading, uh, I interesting PDF files and audio files. Heart Math is a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to revealing the emotional aspects of cardiovascular health. In the words of Dr. Roland McCready, who's Heart Math's director of research, quote, the rhythmic patterns generated by the heart are not only reflective of emotions, but they actually appear to play a key role in influencing moment-to-moment -moment emotional perception and experience. In short, through its extensive interactions with the brain and body, the heart emerges as a critical component of the emotional system, unquote. This is Dr. Roland McCready, MD, Heart Mass Director of Research. And by the way, he has a really cool PDF that you can get off the HeartMath website called Heart Brain Neurodynamics. The heart is a key component of the emotional system. McCready says, this, uh, this is a quote, providing a physiological basis for the long acknowledged link between the heart and our emotional life, unquote. It's no accident that for centuries, poets and mystics and other spiritually minded folks have linked emotions like depression and sadness and grief and peace and contentment and love with the physical heart. Helen Keller said, quote, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart, unquote. Leonardo da Vinci, quote, tears come from the heart, not from the brain, unquote. Blaise Pascal, the philosopher and mathematician, quote, the heart has its reasons which reason knows not, unquote. Antoine de saint Espoury, who wrote a really, really cool book. It's a tiny little book called The Little Prince. Some of you may have read that. Quote, it is only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye, unquote. Just like we have a physical body made up of blood and bones and muscles and nerves, we also have an emotional body made up of compassion and love and warmth and kindness, as well as anger and sadness and grief and jealousy. And the heart, the physical heart, is the bridge between the emotional body and the physical body, between our physical nature and our emotional nature. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Side. Pharmacist Ben here. We have lines open at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have questions about the longevity products or skin health questions or formulation questions, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we will get your calls here momentarily, so hang on. We do have a couple lines open at 844-236-6010. From the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, microgreen study shows health benefits. Microgreens are uh, tender young plants that come out of seeds. They're basically sprouts, and it's very interesting. Uh, microgreens and sprouts are among nature's most powerful, powerful foods, as opposed to the seeds that they are derived from. Seeds, on the other hand, are very problematic. Seeds are in, a, in essence dormant, they're asleep, and they've got chemicals in there, inhibitor chemicals that shut them down, that keep them sleeping. And when we eat those seeds, those inhibitor chemicals, 
can disrupt our chemistry. They can, in essence, inhibit our chemistry, and this is one of the problems associated with grains. Seeds also contain substances that nature provides them with to keep people from eating the seeds, or to keep animals from eating the seeds. So seeds can be somewhat problematic, including grains. On the other hand, when you put a little water on that seed, get a little sunshine on that seed, out of the seed emerges a sprout, or a microgreen as they call them, and these sprouts, unlike the seeds that they are derived from, are incredibly healthy incredibly important sources of nutrients, loaded with the polyphenols that we've been talking about, loaded with vitamins and minerals, and protein that's super accessible. So by adding water to a seed, i.e. sprouting a seed, you turn it from a, a problematic food into one of nature's best food, and according to the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, a food that can be extremely helpful, extremely important for good health. A food that's antioxidant, a food that's anti-inflammatory, and, if you so desire, a food that will lower your cholesterol naturally, if that's important to you. From, uh, let's see, where is this from? Uh, from the journal Nature Communications, I love this. Generous people live happier lives. Generosity makes people happier, even if they're only a little generous. People who act solely out of self-interest are less happy. We've got, uh, we've got a, a whole political system that's designed to perpetuate our self-interest that's designed intentionally to make people better by encouraging, them, encouraging us to be selfish. Generosity, on the other hand, is truly how you get happier. You know, notice if you see, I, I do this, sometimes I'm walking down the street in the city and you've got home, like in any city here in Colorado, we got our, we got homeless people and people begging for money and needing some money. And sometimes I'll give money and sometimes I won't, but I notice that when I give money, I actually feel good. I actually feel better. So giving money, giving something, being generous, being kind, benefits us, benefits the kindee, the person who's being kind, the person who's being generous, and this is based in our neurochemistry. It's based in oxytocin, it's based in dopamine, it's based in serotonin, it has neurological correlates. Feeling good when you're generous is a neurological phenomena. It's hardcore science. It's not just, it's not just better to give than to receive emotionally, or spiritually, it's better to give than it is to receive neurologically and biochemically. All right, one more study, then we'll get your phone calls here, 844-236-6010 from the Journal of Diabetes Investigation. Tryptophan may be a marker for diabetic neuropathy for patients with diabetes and chronic kidney disease, another epidemic, health epidemic. Lower levels of tryptophan are associated with a rapid decline in filtration rate in the kidneys. That's according to the Journal of Diabetes Investigation. Tryptophan is a really important amino acid. It's found in high protein foods. Dairy, whey contain tryptophan. Tryptophan is involved in how the brain works in terms of niacin and serotonin. Supplement with 5-HTP. That's a great way to get more tryptophan or eat high protein foods, especially, especially your slender FX and keto FX, which are, uh, contain generous amounts of whey protein, which is a wonderful source of tryptophan. You can also use the supplement 5-HTP. But I like, personally, I like getting tryptophan straight and also from, uh, from my whey protein. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to St. Louis and say good morning to Marla. How you doing, Marla? Welcome to the Bright Side. Marla, are you there? No, Marla. Going once? Okay, I don't know where Marla is. I'm going to put you, put, put you back on hold, Marla, and uh, we'll get to you in a second. So if you left your phone, uh, come back to your phone and we'll get you in a second. Let's go to... Uh, Shauna in Idaho. Good morning, Shauna. Good morning, Ben. How you doing? Cereal. What's going on? Okay. I have a little grandson who was born with venous malformation where his cheek is, has extra blood vessels in it. Mm. And they He's... thought it would go away, but it's growing with him. And What and else is going kind on? Of a purplish color. How, how, um, old is you, how old is your He's, grandson? He's five. Okay, he what else is going on? with this. When we I'm, came I'm out, sorry, Shauna, like, speak, hang on, Shauna, speak up a little bit, because I'm having a hard time hearing you. He was born with this. When okay. he came out, we were, oh my goodness, what's wrong with his face? But then that's what we found it is. Okay. They wanted to do a treatment called Polaris Therapy, where they put 95% ethanol in, and it kills like the veins. Is it a and cosmetic issue, or is there anything else going on with his health? Nothing else is going on. It's more that um, they're always 
getting accused or people look at him and say, oh, who hit him or oh, my what goodness. happened. So, oh, you know, that's she's terrible. always tapping. Yeah. I, the only way you're going to be able to deal with it is if there's other health challenges that you can somehow work with. you got to just do the same basic things. You know, digestive. If he's got any digestive issues, you've got to work there. If he's eating a lot of sugar, you got to work there. Uh, I, I, he's probably not hypercortisol unless there's something else going on, but sugar and digestion are the main things. Get him on the healthy start pack. I, I don't know if I, you know, surgical procedures, they can, they can go either way. There's no, there's no hundred percent right. safe surgical procedures, but this sounds like it's more cosmetic than, than internal. Right. So it might not be well, as bad. They said it's not a surgery. They just insert this chemical in, or they use a sodium tretinoin something sulfate, a 1%. Well, it's, it's still invasive, but you know, yeah. that, that's not, that's not really a nutritional thing, but you can support his health using nutritional strategies. And after he has his procedure, you can uh, encourage healing by using nutrition. There's nothing you can really do for that nutritionally. Um, it's not like a degenerative issue. Right, not, right. Not a, so that's what I'm wondering where you you have your skin treatment stuff. Is no, it's not a skin problem. It's a blood right, problem. But I mean, after they do After, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Help? After, after, after you want him on the Omega-6 healing cream, after, absolutely. Omega-6, that's Omega-6 healing cream. Okay. For any kind of bruises or, or any kind of healing, uh, if you're uh, scrape or burn or, or somehow cut your skin, or anytime you want to encourage healing, go with our uh, Truth Omega-6 Omega healing cream. I actually developed it for plastic surgeons for post-plastic post surgery treatments. But any kind of uh, broken skin, Truth Omega-6 healing cream. Okay, that's what I was hoping. Okay. Okay. Good and luck, it, Sean. I don't know. Yeah. Do you have time? Is there anyone out? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? I have a daughter who is pregnant. This is her second. Congratulations. And this is, um, yeah, this will be 22 grandkids. But How many grandkids? 22. Oh, my gosh. And you're not even that old, Shauna. Oh, my no, goodness. No, my oldest is eight on the two grandkids. Oh, so my there are lots of little ones. All right, you'll be a young grandma. That's good. You'll even be a great grandma, probably. <laughs> um, so anyway, she once in a, uh, it's happened twice now. She's due in January, but her arm will just get numb and it will go up, and then she has a kind of feels like the super in the head. Uh, any? Did she, she have any injuries? Understand. Did she have any injuries? No. no. Okay, so that's a, that could that's a sign of degeneration. And that that can be helped with nutrition. Let me hang on. Uh, hang on through the break. Okay. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return with more good health information in your phone calls right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Shauna in Idaho. Shauna, you there? Yeah, I am. Okay, so your daughter has some uh, range of movement issues with her shoulder, did I hear you well, say? No, what happens is she just starts to feel numb or tingly in her uh -huh. arms, and it goes up her mouth, she starts to feel dry. Then she's kind of, she's just that she can't get the words out that she wants to say. Okay, that could be, that's, arm. that's a serious thing in that. And how old is your daughter? She's only like 26. There's something else going on. The, but do you think, I'm, I'm wondering if she has, if the baby's laying on some kind of nerve, because it's only happened twice. Oh, this is the like, pregnant gal. This is the pregnant daughter. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. that's something up with the circulatory system and, and neuropathies. Now, has she been, is she a diabetic? No, she's been on the BTT stuff for a two years now and really been eating healthy. Well, her baby's but, getting the nutrition first. You know that, right? So she's right. going to be. So she's got to up her up her nutrients, especially B vitamins and electrolytes. That's first of all. I she gave doing... her a niacin, and then within half an hour, it was gone. What do you mean it was gone? But oh yeah. Okay. It, the the, the, the dis oh that's perfect. Then you know B vitamins. Niacin is vitamin B three, but all the B vitamins, including niacin. But she does BTT. That's not all she lives. Nah, she needs more than that. The BTT is great, okay. and but it's like it's like the basics. She's pregnant. She's she's nutriating for two. The baby's going to get the nutrients before she does. She's very well, very likely malnourished. The B vitamins, all of them, get get her back on that niacin. Um, I would be using, in addition to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, sipping on it all day long, I would be using a little extra Bs. Go get a B100 capsule or tablet from the health food store. Make sure she's using her EFAs, her ultimate EFAs. You'll get a smarter baby with omega-3 fats, a baby with better hand-eye coordination. Make sure she's using the ultimate EFAs. I'm, we got some a bad connection there or something, Sean. I'm going to let you go. So listen on the radio, okay? Uh, uh, Sean, are you there? 
Uh, yeah, I'm still here. Okay, so the, I'm going to let you go, Shauna, but listen in on the radio, okay? Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Um, I don't know what that noise was. Uh, the, the B complex, omega, omega, uh, ultimate EFAs, omega 3s especially, maybe a little bit of extra fish oil. Magnesium can also be helpful, uh, and I would be making. Absolute, absolute, absolutely sure that she's keeping her sugar intake down. Diabetes and pregnancy is a real concern. It does sound like she's maybe having some sugar problems in addition to some circulatory problems. Slow, deep breathing. Um, and if she's not exercising, any, anything she could do to improve or, or upregulate her circulatory system by exercising, movement, that kind of thing. Uh, stretching can also help her as well. And you may want to look at connective tissue type, type building substances like gelatin and the glucogel caps. And thank you so much for your call and congratulations on your uh, 20, uh, 22nd grandchild. That's awesome, Shauna. All right, let's see if we got Marla back. Marla in St. Louis, what's up? Hi, um, yeah, um, Ben, is there any way to reverse early emphysema? I went from environmental asthma. My recent test showed is gone. Back, back up from the phone a little bit, uh, Marla. Go ahead. Is, reversing apologize. emphysema? Is this better? Yeah. Oh, yeah, much better. Early emphysema. I had environmental asthma in my tests last year. I've known it for about eight years. Went to it from secondhand smoke and air fresheners. And oh, geez. Didn't avoid them enough. But now it went to early emphysema yesterday with the physician's test. So Okay, so I here's the deal. That? Here's, there's uh -huh. a couple things. Yes, you can strengthen your lungs, especially if it's early. Lots that you can do. Okay. All right, first of all, you want to be practicing your slow, deep breathing techniques every day, oh. probably five or ten minutes, twice a day is what I would be doing. Slow, okay. those three words are all important. Slow, deep, rhythmic breathing. All three are important. Oh, cool. Slowly, maybe five or six seconds in, even 10 seconds in, uh, and then uh, 10 or 12 seconds out. The exhale is more important than the inhale, so a little bit longer in the exhale. Um, uh -huh. Deep, all the way into the bottom of your belly, even to the bottom of your feet, if you can figure out how to do that. But deeply is important. Your, back off from the breathing phone. Mar Mar Marla, you got to back up from the phone. I'm sorry. They That's call okay. it diaphragmatic breathing. Yes, diaphragmatic breathing. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Belly goes out. Okay. The diaphragm. Uh -huh. Google the diaphragm. Get a, U a, Go a YouTube okay. the diaphragm. You can actually see how the diaphragm goes up and down, and that'll help you visualize okay. it. And then Excellent. rhythmically. Now, get a get uh -huh. an app if you have a smart uh, an iPhone or an Android. Get an app called My Calm Beat, or you can get another one uh -huh. called Bio Breathing. These are both breathing uh -huh. apps, and they're really very uh -huh. helpful. Uh, the second okay. thing you can do is a little bit of exercise. That will also help uh, improve uh -huh. oxygenation a little bit. doesn't have to uh -huh. be anything, you know, radical. You don't need a membership at the gym. Just maybe walking uh -huh. briskly around the block or up, uh -huh. up and down the stairs. And then thirdly, there's some wonderful uh, – well, thirdly, keep your sugar intake down. Any, and also any pro-inflammatory foods will slow down the healing process. So sugar uh -huh. is a pro-inflammatory food. Any foods that cause digestive distress can be considered pro-inflammatory. Work on your digestive system. Use probiotics, the night essence, fermented foods, uh, vegetable juices, and then lastly, there's great nutritional supplements. You should be on a good nutritional supplement program that, that covers everything, uh, all okay. maybe 90 essential nutrients, like the Healthy Start Pack, but p particularly important are essential fatty acids. These are particularly important for the lungs. Essential fatty acids, especially omega-3 essential fatty acids, magnesium, uh, maybe 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium a day, selenium, okay. 400 to 600 micrograms of selenium a day, vitamin E in, micrograms, and then vitamin E in all its forms, the real stuff. Uh, it's called mixed tocopherols, mixed tocopherols, 400. I, uh, I do dry E. Is that okay? No, e. no. I would go no. with the mixed tocopherols. The dry E is not okay. mixed. Mixed tocopherols. Uh, you can also throw in mixed tocotrienols, but at least the mixed tocopherols, 400 IU a day. And for anybody who doesn't know what that is, T-O-C-O-P-H-E-R-O-L-S, tocopherols. That's the technical uh -huh. name for vitamin E. Do not underestimate the unbelievably important nature of vitamin C for the lungs. Vitamin C uh -huh. is just one of those vitamins that we hear so much about. Uh, we hear so much about we kind of tune it out, but it is unbelievably important for the lungs, and for the whole body, mm -hmm. of course, but especially for the lungs. And then you might want to throw in some NAC, NAC. We've been talking about that. We haven't actually for the last couple of days, but we will continue talking about NAC. It's very important for the heart. It's also important for the lungs. I would be doing 400 uh, milligrams of NAC a day. And if you want to throw one more thing in, uh, get some alpha lipoic acid, super duper important oh, yeah. antioxidant, 400 or so milligrams a day. That one's a little bit pricey, but it's real good. All right, Marla? Uh, can I do ester C, which I've been taking for years? You and can, but it's just pricey. It's, you know, yeah, absolutely you can. It's a good form of vitamin C. How much? Because 
you know, ascorbic acid, when you get into the upper levels of yeah. MGs, it can uh, grate on the bloaty. tummy. Yeah, yeah. What do you like uh, when you're taking I do, much, I do straight ascorbic I do straight ascorbic acid. I divide the doses. But if you're doing ester C, do at least 1,000, maybe 2,000 milligrams a day. Okay. I sure will, Ben. God bless you and thank you. God bless you, Marla. Have a beautiful day. I hope Bye -bye. I helped you. Thank Thanks. you. Okay. Uh, time for one more here. Let's go to Bob in Minneapolis. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side, Bob. Yeah. Good morning, Ben. Hey, question on parasites. Okay. Yesterday, I heard you, heard, heard you yesterday speaking about uh, clonics uh, treatment, uh, flushing yeah. parasites out of the stomach or the gut. Um, I would like to focus on three in particular parasites. Okay. The uh, toxoplasma, toxocara, uh, as well okay. as rabies. First two bloodborne, I selected rabies just because it, uh, trans it uh, transpires along the uh, uh, neurotic system. And uh, my question is, with the optimal immune system, will your body defeat those parasites or maybe even a combination with cl uh, clon clonics? Because I know clonics, the toxoplasma. Yeah. So here's the, the thing. The plasma embeds in the brain. I hear. Yeah. It, it, here's the thing about parasites. Your immune system is designed to take care of that. On the other hand, parasites. There's pa parasites. Are, there's some parasites that live symbiotically with us. You know what I'm saying? They, okay. I mean, yep, yep. they're not all necessarily bad parasites. There's a symbiotic relationship. The parasites you're talking about, like toxoplasma, uh, those are definitely a problem. The immune system's supposed to take care of those. The only way you're really going to get rid of parasites are not, if they're intestinal or colonics. That's number one. And they are great for getting rid of parasites. In fact, I've heard colonic therapists say they can actually see the parasites coming out when they do a colonic. And by the way, I don't know, why did you say rabies? That's a virus. It's not a parasite. So I'm not sure why you mentioned rabies. But in any case, okay, okay. Uh, that's all right. In any case, using uh, things like bentonite clay, zeolite, charcoal can help. Uh, uh, th these substances can stick to the parasites. The parasites can stick to the, the substances, and that can help pull them out of the body. Uh, and then you can use uh, uh, digestive support, things like probiotics and good bacteria. Uh, that can also po possibly be helpful for parasites. But if they're already in the blood and they're, and they're parasites that are not friendly parasites and they're not functional and they're, they're sucking you dry, uh, as, as that's what a parasite does, um, then you're pretty much you're going to have to use antiparasitic medicine, and they don't always work. But that's pretty much the only thing you could do. It's not so really a nutritional this, thing. It's not. It's not a really. That's not really a, a nutritional uh, uh, a function of good nutrition or bad nutrition. That's more like just killing the parasite. So it's a hit and miss uh, that you catch it in the gut via a clonix. In, in there's the no gut. way of knowing ahead of time. Oh, I need to hurry up and get a clonix because I feel. Yeah, system. there's no way to know like that. I mean, if you go to like uh, a third world country or something and you get something, uh, some kind of parasite that's in the food or sometimes they come in through your feet, um, you really, there's, just, you're kind of out of luck. Although a colonic is raw, definitely advisable. Like yes? raw meat. Like raw yeah, meat. Yeah, raw meat, that kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for your call, Bob. Appreciate it. All right. That's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, and Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, and all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.